there are a bunch of good code snippet managers for WordPress. For example, code snippets, which is a free plugin, and there is also a WP code box, which is a premium plugin and which is my favorite code snippet manager. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own code snippets plugin. And this one works in a simple way. You just open it up, add your own snippet, save it, and it works like a charm. So if you're interested, then jump in because it's going to take only a couple of minutes to set it up. Now, first thing you have to do is just create an empty folder in your computer and give it the title, for example, snippets. Now open this folder and now create a new file here. Give it the title, for example, snippets, save it and rename the extension. Instead of txt, use php. Open your file and paste this code here. So what's happening here? This here is your plugin name. Rename it as you like. This here is a description. The one you'll see here or here. And this is a plugin name that is displayed here. Next one, version, you don't have to add it. Author, also you don't have to add it. And URL, also you don't have to add it, but you can do it. The same with the license and license URL. Now the code you see on the screen right now. Take a look at the description of this video. There is a link to the blog post that contains this code you can use. Next one, this part here is a first snippet you add because this will create this my snippets menu here. Now pay attention, if the file name is something else than snippets PHP, then you have to change this part here. And if the folder name is something else than snippets, then you have to change this part here. Now, just save, open up your folder, this one here. Now compress it for Windows and Mac, it's a built-in option. So right click and compress, and now you have a file here. Next, let's go to the plugins. Click on add new, upload plugin, and upload the compressed file you created a second ago. Just install it, activate it, and there you go, you just created your own plugin called My Custom Snippets. And if you open it up, you'll see all the snippets are here. Now let's test it by adding a snippet here. For example, I have a WooCommerce product here and it contains Reviews tab. I don't like this Reviews tab, I would like it to be removed. So I'm going to go to my newly created snippets plugin and I'm going to paste this snippet here. It would be wise to always add a comment above the snippet because this way you know what is what. Now, after pasting the snippet, I'm going to update the file, refresh the product, and you'll see the review tab gone. Now, let's test another snippet. I'm going to add a new custom tab here. That means I'm going to paste this snippet here. It's a much longer snippet. As you see, this one is a remove review tab. And this snippet contains a couple of parts here. First, I'm going to register a new endpoint. I'm going to add this endpoint to the My Account menu. Then I'm going to add a content, this text, and let's add a form over there. I'm going to grab this short code, add it here, and done. And this part reorders all the tabs. Previously, I have created a separate video how to add custom tabs to the WooCommerce My Account page. I'll put the link to this video also in the video description. So, I'm going to update the file. Next, I'm going to go to My Account page. And you'll see there is a Messages tab here, the one I created. If you click on it, it says, oops, that page can't be found. Therefore, I'm going to go to the Settings, Permalinks, Save it. Back to the My Account page, refresh, and there you go. This is my custom tab with the text and contact form. Easy peasy. So as you saw, it took only a minute or two to create a custom code snippet plugin, and you can add whatever you want here. It's not as fancy as your code snippet plugin, which allows you to set whether to run it on an administration area or so. But if you just need to use a couple of snippets on your site, nothing fancy, then I would suggest you create your own custom snippets like we did in this video. 
Now, before you go, wait. If you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here, and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.